It's an industry that transports more than 3 million people a day. It connects cultures and is integral to global commerce. It brings jobs to countless people across the world. However, as important as air travel is, few realize the significance and complexity of aircraft maintenance. Maintenance is the least known or understood part of the aviation industry, but planes can't fly without it. The, the modern transport airplane today, it's really a very sophisticated machine. We're dealing with a lot of different technologies that are deployed in the airplane itself, and it's that that kind of brings the whole safety, reliability, comfort, and operational uh, performance that we enjoy today as a traveling public. One thing that many people don't know is that airlines contract much of their maintenance to highly specialized companies that do nothing but maintain, repair, and overhaul aircraft and parts. That's why the aviation maintenance industry is known as MRO. While there are a number of companies that specialize in heavy maintenance, working on the whole aircraft in a big hangar, most work takes place off the aircraft at highly specialized facilities that work on specific parts or components like landing gear, avionics, auxiliary motor units, even seat belts. Airlines can't afford to have every single piece of equipment being maintained by themselves. So what they do is go to professional maintenance operations that enable them to get the best maintenance at the best price, reliability and safety at the utmost. The, air, the airline industry say it's two things. It's a very, it's a complex industry, as in a high-tech industry. Uh, in order to be able to really supply the, this industry, you do need specialties. You need specialists in different areas. And uh, in the maintenance side, it means having the best at what they do. Because highly specialized repair stations get a better return on their investment in training, tools, and technology, they help airlines reduce maintenance costs while ensuring a high level of safety. In fact, there's been a direct correlation between the use of contract maintenance by airlines in recent decades and a dramatic drop in accidents. One of the reasons for the industry's outstanding safety record is that an infrastructure exists to make sure repair stations get the job done right. Aviation is definitely one of the most regulated and looked at, if you will, audited industries, frankly, that I can think of. And you want this. It is because there is so much oversight, so much professionalism, so many skilled, experienced people, from maintainers to pilots to controllers, all of them part of a team that, in fact, give us the greatest safety record in modal transportation. The aviation maintenance industry isn't just critical to safety, it's also critical to the economy. There are more than 4,000 FAA certificated maintenance facilities throughout the United States that together employ close to 200,000 people. In fact, there are four times more people working for FAA certificated repair stations in the United States than there are mechanics working for airlines. Most of these repair stations are smaller, family-owned companies. This makes maintenance a huge part of the world economy. There are more than 4,700 aircraft repair facilities worldwide, employing roughly 473,000 people. Small businesses play a huge role in the repair and maintenance and repair and overhaul of uh, aviation worldwide. There's nearly 5,000 uh, businesses that have certificated repair stations. The majority of those employ less than 50 people. So small business is really at the heart of the industry. Uh, it's advancing quickly, it's, it's grown steadily over the last 50 years, uh, just, and, and the need for it and the, the demand for it is only growing around the world as, as uh, the middle class grows in other parts of the world. Uh, so it is, it's vital from that standpoint. The global aviation maintenance market is expected to grow 50% over the next decade from 57.7 billion in 2014 to 86.6 billion in 2024. The growth means opportunities for people looking for an exciting career, not just a job. Repair stations are hungry for workers who want to be a part of a dynamic, growing global industry. When I was in high school, 
as a regular high school student, you're always thinking about, you know, what are you gonna do next or whatever. But I was always thinking about five years from now. Where do I see myself five years from now? Uh, this was gonna be a temporary job, actually. I, wanted, I was applying for a university in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and, uh, and um, oh, for, uh, for pilots. And once I saw this, and I found out that this is what I wanted to do, no more doubts in my mind what I wanted to do. Well, I'm an avionics technician. We run anything that is ele electronics from the airplane. My job is pretty much removing and replacing components, troubleshooting, finding out, you know, learning a system and running through the whole thing, making sure that the whole system works, that there is no problems. ARSA is the voice of the global aviation maintenance industry. Trade associations like ARSA provide a voice for the industry with regulators, lawmakers, media, current and potential members of the workforce, and the flying public. If the participants in an industry aren't engaged in an association or some other kind of collective advocacy vehicle, there are a number of risks. I mean, you number one obviously risk bad policy. The fact is that in Washington, D.C., if you're not at the table, you're on the table. And so there's a risk that, that Congress is going to impose new legal, legal mandates, they're going to do things that drive up your cost of doing business, that eat into your markets, bad regulations that unnecessarily drive up your cost of doing business. I'm reminded of the words of Ben Franklin, we have to hang together or we're surely going to hang apart. And that is very true when it comes to trade associations. The reality is, if you're not an ARSA member, it means that your uh, voice is not part of our advocacy, it means that your perspectives and our policy making isn't taken into account. Uh, it also means that you're not getting the benefit of, of the services that ARSA provides, the things we do to try to help reduce our members' costs of doing business, to help them be more efficient and be more effective competitors in the marketplace. 